10 Unbelievable Places That Exist in the South of France Few places in Europe offer a more memorable travel experience than the glitzy, glamorous and stunningly gorgeous South of France. From the warmth of its sun-kissed beaches to the aroma of its mouth-watering cuisine, a holiday in this sunny region is a treat for all the senses. Take in the scenery that inspired artists from Renoir and Van Gogh to Matisse and Cezanne. Wherever you travel, the sights, sounds and sensations you encounter in southern France will stay with you long after your trip is over. 10. Aix en Provence Tree-lined streets, monuments and elegant architecture greet you wherever you wander in Aix en Provence. Founded by a Roman general in 123 BC, Aix en Provence came of age during the Renaissance era when artists, academics and aristocrats made the cultural capital their home. With around 40,000 students swelling its population each year, Aix remains a highly regarded university city. 9. Cannes. You don't have to visit Cannes during its annual film festival to understand the appeal of this coastal city. With its long stretches of sandy beaches and 300 days of sunshine each year, Cannes attracts sun worshippers in the warm seasons. Curving around the city's deep blue bay, the promenade offers views of the sea and sand on one side and upscale hotels and boutiques on the other. 8. Lormarin. Surrounded by vineyards, orchards and forest, Lormarin is one of the most scenic villages in the Provence. Less overrun with tourists than other towns in the region, it offers an authentic Provençal experience. Lormarin's pretty squares, winding streets and open-air cafes invite leisurely strolls through the city. One of the most beautiful structures to explore is the Château de Lormarin. Built as a fortress in the 12th century, it was transformed into an elegant Renaissance manor in the 15th and 16th centuries. Visitors can tour the lovingly restored rooms to view rare antiques and artwork. 7. Biarritz. Situated in the southwest corner of France along the Basque coast, Biarritz has been a popular holiday destination since Napoleon III and his wife Eugenie first visited in 1854. The emperor was responsible for the construction of the Hotel du Palais, the town's most famous landmark. Today, Biarritz is also known as the surfing capital of France. La Côte des Basques is considered the optimal beach for riding the waves. 6. Arles. Sprawled along the banks of the Rhone River in the south of France, Arles has been an important cultural center and trading port since Julius Caesar founded it as a Roman colony in 46 BC. The city's most striking example of those early days is the Roman Théâtre Antique, where plays, concerts and mock gladiator fights are performed during the summer. Vincent van Gogh created 300 works of art while living in Arles, and his Yellow House is a popular attraction. A walking map guides you to the places and scenery depicted in his famous paintings, including, Starry Nights Over the Rhone. 5. Saint Paul de Vence. The scenic beauty of Saint Paul de Vence is reason enough to visit this hilltop village in southeastern France. With its thick ramparts, centuries-old structures and cobbled streets, it's a poster child for a well-preserved medieval town. Artists from Modigliani and Chagall to Picasso plied their craft in Saint Paul de Vence, trading paintings for food, drink and board at the Auberge de la Colombe d'Or. Art is the main attraction outside the inn too. The town's winding streets are lined with galleries and museums. 4. Carcassonne. One of France's oldest fortified cities, Carcassonne is situated near the scenic Canal du Midi, with Montagne Nord rising up in the background. The storybook setting draws 4 million tourists each year, most of whom come to tour the Cité, the almost too perfectly restored medieval citadel. Tours lead visitors past gargoyles, turrets and grassy lists to the inner rings of the fortress. With its quirky museums and one-of-a-kind shops, the Ville Boss on the lower ground near the River Odd is fun to explore too. Finish the day by dining at one of the tasty eateries located along the canal's towpath. 3. Avignon. Avignon is best known for the Palais des Papes, the largest Gothic palace in Europe. Built in the 14th century as an act of rebellion against the election of Pope Clement V, the fortified structure covers the top of a hill overlooking the Rhone River. Inside the temporary seat of the papacy are treasures like a series of frescoes painted by Matteo Giovanetti in the 1300s. The palace plays host to art exhibitions, conventions and festivals as well. Outside, hilltop gardens, ponds and landscape terraces invite exploration. 2. Nice. From world-class art and medieval architecture to stunning beaches, Nice offers everything travelers want from a holiday on the French Riviera. 
This vibrant city in southeast France offers an array of pedestrian-friendly attractions too, including waterfront promenades, grand plazas and open-air markets. Vieux Nice, the Italianate-style old town district, lets you explore the city's past while sampling delicacies from pastries to pizzas at the neighborhood's eateries. When it comes to culture, no holiday in Nice is complete without a visit to the Musée Marc Chagall and Musée Matisse where hundreds of works by the two French artists are on display. 1. Monaco. Although Monaco is an independent city-state, its prime location on the French Riviera makes it an appealing destination for visitors to the south of France. A fabled playground for the rich and famous, Monaco is an appealing destination for budget-minded day trips too. Even if you don't gamble at the famed Casino de Monte Carlo, you can explore its gilded rooms any morning for a small fee.